Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm gonna give you guys my final recap, my final thoughts on the final episode of Oro Monogatari, or you could call it my love story, which is on episode 24. This episode, I gotta admit, when I end, up, when I actually end up watching it and seeing it through, I was very close. I wanted to shed my tear or something, you know. <laughs> Just being a little honest. So if anything else, let's go. Okay, at the beginning of the episode, we have to it that Takio has been think has been stuck out in the rain. He did see Rinko in the car with that pastor guy, and apparently, like um, apparently Takio feels a little doubtful about himself being with Rinko, you know. And I'm thinking in my mind, no, don't let your um, don't let these negative thoughts cloud your judgment or mind right here. You, if you love the girl, you love her. You, you're with her, you know, that kind of thing. But <clears throat> eventually, as the episode continues on. Takio did talk this out with Sunakawa, along with his, along with Sunakawa's sister, along with like um the, his friends, and he said he's not gonna give her up. And I'm thinking, I'm like, yeah, that's how you do it. And Takio tells the past year guy like, I'm not gonna give her up to you, okay? That's one thing I put. I'm gonna leave it to you like that. And then and the guy says, okay then. But once I earn my gold medal, I'm gonna confess to her and let her know what's up. Takio, on the other hand, decides not to say anything. To, to Yamato Rinko, maybe because like um he does not want her to know and probably like him um, he wants to know her full honest answer the moment like um the competition's over you know but when the day of the competition came the guy forgotten his cooking cooking gear behind and I'm thinking in my mind Doc be prepared at all times is there something wrong with you you know that kind of thing but everything seems to be all right after Taki decides to help out after. Rinko decides to call Takio and so forth. So Takio brings his tools and the guy is actually surprised about this. And he he did all, he went all out in his like um, making his cake, you know. And, and I appreciate the fact that he went all out and so forth. And then he still told Takio like, um, I'm not going to hold back. You let, I let you know that right now, you know. And of course, like um, he mentions about y Yamato Rinko being his muse and his muse, you know. But, you know, when... The guy won the gold medal, which is pretty cool, and then he confesses to Rinko right in front of Takio and Yamato, and Yamato says, I'm very grateful and you did put me to shock that you actually liked me or loved me, but my heart goes to Takio the moment I met him, you know, and that's how I do it. And therefore the guy accepts that fact and he, t and the pastor guy tells Takio to take care of Yamato Rinko, okay? And I'm thinking, I'm like, of course he would. He's a guy that would never like him let his girlfriend down, you know? And so forth. A couple good moments here and there with Takio and Rinko, you know? And Takio called her by, called Yamato by her first name, which is around the end of the episode. And I'm thinking, I'm like, are you serious right now? Come on now. <laughs> you know, you get the cue. But overall, like um, the net when the new school year started, Takio and Sunakawa are in the same class, you know, and all the girls are on Sunakawa, while well, all the boys are on Takio, and Takio's little student, Takio's little like um student that always calls him master, and Sunakawa's crush or something. That's Sunakawa's little um little stalker or something is like after him, you know, and then so forth. And then it ends off with um Yamato, Yamato. I mean, Rinko, Sunakawa, and Takio like a meeting up for another regular day as usual. So overall, I gotta say, this episode was pretty cool, had my enjoyment, you know, and I'm really glad like on this development, not only for Takio, Rinko, and Sun Rinko, but with like um the past year guy as well. I despise that guy very, very much, not gonna lie, but seeing him like um finally being politely rejected and so forth. And having to mature up a bit, I'm really glad he grew up. So, I gotta say, like, um, I give him credit for that. Now, for the series in general, I gotta say, I had a lot of fun watching this ep watching, watching the episodes of Oromono Gatri every week. Seeing how, like, um, it is, it is, like, um, a total different level in terms of romance and character loving and development in terms of what's... To come, you know, because in certain romance and other genres, you know, it's always been focusing on the two main characters. But more than that, it goes on to other side characters or supporting characters, which shows a lot of development, which I really enjoy very, very much. It's also been realistic about, like, um, being rejected and understanding and moving on and so forth, you know. 
helped me learn a lot in this series. So if I were to even decide, I think this thing, this series earned like an 8 to a 9 out of 10 for me. Though I think I'll stick it to an 8, but 8 to a 9 out of 10, somewhere around there. Pretty much one of the best romances I think I ever watched this year. I'm really going to put that on my list right now. So until then, I think I'll see you guys in my next video or so. And don't... And please forgive me if they're late. Just got a lot of things to do. Okay. Right? And I'll see you guys later. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time. Right? Peace out. Bye bye.